Hello, everybody. Good evening. I have a hair on my face. <laughs> oh my God, guys, I am so excited. I got in all of the VFX liquid matte lipsticks that we launched that are limited edition. They were, um, once they were gone, they were gone. Um, we're hoping they bring them back. I hope, I really do. But they are so good, guys. And I did a live today on Instagram um, swatching them for you, all eight shades. Um, they're beautiful, guys. They're just so pretty. So I really hope that a lot of you were able to get your hands on some of them because you will not regret it. They are so good. And they're so comfortable on the lips. But... So I want to do a look tonight using one of the shades. And I know some people are going to probably be upset because some of you may not have been able to get them. And of course, I'm using a product that you cannot get anymore, at least right now. Um, but so many of you did. So I want to use them because they're gorgeous. And we have a lot of similar colors. Um that were in our regular liquid matte lipstick line. We did retire a few of our pinker shades, um, but there's a couple of shades that are really similar to our original. So if you see a shade here that you like, um, let me know and I can try and match it to our original line of liquid matte lipsticks so that you can still um, get a liquid matte lipstick, okay? So I've already gone with primer. I used the VFX primer. And today I'm going to use my VFX Pro Camera Ready Foundation since we're using the liquid mattes from the VFX line. So um, this is a full, I mean, super full coverage foundation. Okay, guys, I'm in the shade 04. And this is not a foundation that I use every day. This is my special occasion foundation. I am more of a natural, lightweight foundation gal. I really don't use a foundation that's full coverage very often. Um, so that's just me, but I love the foundation. I mean, it's camera ready. It has photo filter technology. It's really good. It really is. And let me see if I can having difficulty seeing what I'm doing. There we go. I hope this isn't going to look bad for you guys. For me, it helps me to see, but for you guys, it might be a little dark. Now, I don't use a lot. I put on a really thin um, coat of this. But again, I am, I like a very dewy look to my skin and I don't like a lot of full coverage um, foundation for my skin. I love our B Fit Tinted Moisturizer and I love our BB Cream. And those are the two that I wear most often. But like I said, once in a great while, um, you know, I every girl once in a while likes a full coverage foundation. Um, well, most girls like it all the time, but I'm just a rebel in that way, I guess. Just a rebel. I am the odd one. <laughs> I'd rather have less coverage, said nobody ever, except for Charlotte. <laughs> and I'm just putting a little extra of that on my lids. I am waiting for a new vanity table. Um, most of you may have seen my Instagram and my Facebook posts. Um, I was missing an action there over the weekend because we painted our kitchen, our hallway. Um, we moved furniture around. I changed everything up. The vanity table that I had, um, I loved it, but it was white. And trust me, you do not want a white vanity table to do your makeup on. That thing was getting so 
dirty. It was crazy. So I'm like, you know what? I'm going to use that as my desk. So I bought some white and wooden pieces for the living room and that desk matched perfectly. I'm going to go in with 03 neutral medium press powder for my lids. Um, so I put that in my office area in our living room and I switched out some of the furniture in the living room and we took the piece that was in the living room and put that in the kitchen and we I used it and made my coffee um, area. So I have a full coffee bar now and the thing is awesome because underneath I was able to fit my air fryers, all my appliances, small appliances were fit under there perfectly. And the whole top gave me this amazing coffee bar space and sections underneath so that I have everything in sliders that come out like, um, what am I trying to say? Like a uh, plastic divider thing. So I have like K, K cup pods and then I have my Nespresso cup um, espresso pods in one and then they're all by flavors and then I have my teas so yeah it's so nice so I'm really happy about that and then the table that we got for the to eat on matches that piece so it just worked out like so perfectly I'm so happy I still need to paint my window ca um, window casings the door casings I have to hang curtains, things like that, but I'll be doing that this coming weekend. So it's good. But so far, I'm really happy with the way that it's coming out. So yeah, I'm happy. All right, guys. Now for eyes, we're going to go in with the Wonderlust palette. And I am going to go in the crease with the shade Morocco. And we're going to put that in the crease. So, like I said, we painted, I deep cleaned everything. Like, I cleaned like crazy. And um, I'm still recovering, but let me tell you, my body hurts. Oh, my God. It's tough to get a little bit older when you're so used to doing stuff that never bothered you. And now your body's like, whoa, lady. Take it easy. You're not 20 anymore. Like, slow down. But we got it done, and I'm super, super happy. Like I said, we still have a lot to do, but I've been wanting to do this for so long. I was just getting so overwhelmed with the amount of stuff that was in my house. I just wanted to declutter. I gave away so much stuff to people. Um, just friends and family and I feel so much better now like so much better and I feel like that's really too much light so now I just need to get my vanity done get that set up because I need to set back up in front of my window right now i'm in the corner of my room and i need to go back into the middle of my window i used to film in front of my window because i don't like the lighting here at all so i'm gonna switch things around a little bit i mean i could just put stuff on my bench there and just sit on the floor and do videos but or go in the kitchen I suppose but I like having my stuff in my room you know all right so now let's see let me get this brush I'm gonna go in with the shade sun kissed on my lid and in my stomach I am not sure why it's making noise it's been fed I'm not quite sure why so yeah I was so excited when I saw the mailman and I saw the box in his hand I was like yes 
My liquid lipsticks are here. Probably thinks I'm a weirdo. I opened the door as soon as he got got up near the door. He must have been like, what is wrong with this lady? Like, is she stalking me? How did she even know I was here? But in all fairness, I get um, alerts when packages are being delivered. So as soon as he scanned it in as being delivered, I ran down those stairs. I'm like, oh my God, it's here. Okay. I feel like it's like so bright for you guys, but not bright enough for me. I'm not sure what to do about that. See, like if I go up closer, you guys can see. I don't know. Okay. So sun kiss on... on uh, my lid. I'm getting a lot of notifications. People messaging me. I just want to make sure they're not my customers. Don't know. I don't know. <laughs> I see them popping up, but I can't see who they are. I don't know. It's a mystery. All right, so now I think I'm going to go in with smudge on the, a little bit on the outer corner. Definitely have to do something with my lighting. I feel like I'm putting makeup on with my eyes closed. This could be a really good look or a really bad look. I have not decided yet. Oh, we'll see. We'll see if we're even going to post this video. Okay. So we have... Morocco in the crease, sun kiss on the lid, and I put a little bit of smudge on the outer um, corners. I really need this light to see better. Okie doke. I should have moved you guys that way. That would have made better sense. Yes, it would have. Should have moved my camera. Might still do that. It's going to look really weird, though, if I do that, I guess. Okay, going to go in with smudge underneath the lower lash line. Isn't that pretty? I love it. Let me put this over here. And I think I am going to try, try to move this camera because I can't see what I'm doing, guys. I just can't. So I am going to, let me see. Let me put these in my drawer. These are all the new colors. Let me put those in the drawer for a minute and let me see if I can move you guys without disrupting this video too much. It has like a suction cup bottom. So let's see if I can make this look better. So sorry, guys. This is going to be like a hot mess of a video. Oh, my God. Okay. Let's see. 
really, really a mess. Good Lord. Okay. We, we might not even post this, like, honestly. <laughs> honestly, it may not even make it. <sighs> couldn't see, though. I couldn't see. I felt like you couldn't see. I don't know. All right, let's go in with, we're going to go into face now. We'll do our, finish our eyes in a minute. We're going to go into the Peach Bite palette. Okay, you can see I hit pan. I'm almost hitting pan on the contour shade. Um, I love, love, love this palette. It's amazing. And I'm going to go in and contour a little bit so that I can add a little bit of warmth to um, my face. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to put it on and then I go back in and I blend it. I don't want this brush. Let me get a different brush. Let's see. I'm going to go in with one of our pharmacy brushes. So I just kind of put it on and then I will go back in and blend it out. So it kind of looks crazy at the first because <laughs> You girl don't know how to contour, okay? So. I talk the talk, but I can't really walk the walk when it comes to contour. But I try, you know? Gotta try sometime. It's the only way you can learn. Gotta try. Practice makes perfect, right? So they say. The good thing about the Peach Bite palette is it's super forgiving. So that's always good. It's super blendable. It's so easy to fix any errors that you make with this palette, which is probably why I love it so much because, <laughs> hmm, you know, you know what I'm saying. When you're not good at something, you tend to have to fix things. And that is what happens with me. I have to go in and fix my mistakes. All right, fluffy brush, guys. Blend, blend. But in all seriousness, it's the best palette. I love Peach Bite palette. Three in one's really pretty. I love the blush in the three in one, but oh, Peach Bite is just my favorite. Okay, so we are good. Good, good. Now I'm going to use Peach Bite for blush. Also, because why not? So Peach Bite Blush. I like it because I'm not a big blush person and this is just the perfect shade for me. It gives me just enough of a blush tone to my skin without it being too much. And I always put a little bit down the center of my nose and then I take a little bit right on my forehead and a little on my chin. And it's just so pretty. And then I'm gonna go in with a little brush and we're gonna go into the highlight shade. And we're just going to put a little bit of highlight right here. You can bring a little bit down your nose, a little on the chin if you want, a little bit above your forehead, a little bit above the temples if you want that J-Lo glow, which who doesn't really? Let's be honest. Now you guys know I don't do my brows. They're not the best, but they're all mine and I just prefer my own brows 
because frankly, when I do my brows, they end up looking like two big fat furry caterpillars. So yeah, there's that. So I tend to not use brow products. <laughs> All right, guys, mascara. I don't want this video to go too long. Gonna go in with Zen. This is $8.90, guys. It's incredible, super affordable. It's gonna give you length, definition, volume, separates your lashes, has intense pigment, like everything that you want in a mascara. Now I go in with the side that has the shorter bristles first. because I feel like it gives me um, more volume and definition when I do it that way. And then I go in with the longer bristles to do the curls, like to curl my lashes and to further lengthen them. So you can see just with one coat, you can see like there's a big difference. really good and Zen is one of our most popular mascaras like everybody loves Zen I don't really have a favorite mascara of ours I love them all pretty much I pretty much love them all. I have ones that I use more often, but they all offer something different. They have all different wands. Um, you know, they, they all kind of give your eyelashes a different look depending on which one you're using and how your, eye, ugh, how your lashes are naturally. So, I just, I alternate. I go in with Zen sometimes, I'll do Star Look, I'll use Deep Black. I actually need a new Zen. So now I'm going in with the round, longer bristle part, like the rounder part of the wand. And just going back. with a second coat. See how gorgeous, isn't that incredible? Like your lashes get so long and because it's such a, like so pigmented, your lashes just like, bam, it's so good. Look at that, guys. Isn't that not incredible? You need this mascara, guys. I'm telling you. The $8.90, like, you can't even get a drugstore mascara for that. Like, a good mascara. I mean, I know you can get mascaras for cheaper than that, but <laughs> they ain't gonna be good. Not like this. Okay, let me do the bottoms. And then we're gonna use one of the new lippies in a shade that I would never normally wear, ever. But I wanted to go out of my comfort zone tonight. So, we're gonna use a color that Charlotte would never normally wear. I'm trying to like branch out 
and try new colors. Does anybody watch The Voice? I love it. I just realized it's eight o'clock. Where did the day go? That's crazy. Oh guys, my stomach is grumbling so much. It's, cr it's crazy. And like, I ate, like, so I don't even know why it's doing that. Like, honest to God. Okay, Zen Mascara, guys. Now lips. Okay. I have two shades. All right. I have this one and where is the other one? Nope, not that one. Okay, I think it's this one. Yeah. Okay, so these are two colors that I normally would not use. So that's why I wanted to use them because these are never any colors that I would choose for myself. So we have My Lips But Better and I have Barely There. So I'm going to go in with... My lips were better first, and then I'm going to go in with Barely There, I think. Or should I just do one? And then I can always do the other one another night. Um, yeah, let me do one tonight. Because I have, I just, just by seeing the swatches again, I'm like, hmm. I already have another eye look in mind. So, yeah, I think that's what we're going to do. Okay, so let me, I think I'm going to do, I think I might do the, I'm going to do this one tonight. I was undecided. But I think I'm going to do the lighter one. So torn. See how red my lips are <laughs> I'm doing the swatches. Oh my god. All right, let me do this one. I'm gonna do number four, barely there. Okay. I'm not gonna do a lip liner. Just gonna go right in so you guys can see exactly what it looks like. Now you could go in with a lip liner. Now, the reason why I say I would not normally use this color is because it's peach based. And I'm just not someone that usually wears peach based products. Like I just don't really like the way they look on me normally. But this one, I don't know guys, it's really, really pretty. And I really don't mind it, to be honest. Like, it's just, I don't know. Even though it's peach-based, I kind of really like it. So I'm kind of loving it. Now... Like I said, these are limited edition. Well, they were limited edition. They're totally sold out. Um, but I'm just really hoping that you guys were able to get your hands on at least one of them. The formula is amazing. They're creamy. They feel like nothing at all on your lips. 
but they are that VFX Pro Foundation type uh, base to it. And they're long lasting, guys, like long lasting. And they last a long time. I had mine on before the pink one for like hours and hours. And I ate, I had, um, you know, like drink, I drank, I ate with it, everything. And it was on there. It took me a while to get it off. So what I do to take my liquid matte lipsticks off is I use the calendula balm and that takes it right off and super easy. You won't have to struggle. Your lips aren't going to be sore. It just does such a good job at taking off, um, taking off the product. So now if you wanted to go in with a lip liner, you could go in with... Let's see, this is 201. You could do 201. You could do, that's too pink. Um, trying to show you some options. 201 would definitely, or you could go in with 227 if you wanted to go in with a darker. Um, 223 would work. Actually, 223 is perfect. Let me just line my lips a little bit for you guys with 223. just to give it a little bit of contrast. You can overline a little bit if you wanted to. So that would be two, two. What did I say? Charlotte, <laughs> two, two. Oh, Get it together, woman, will you? Two, two, three. This video is a hot mess. Let's just admit it right now. Like, let's just be honest. Definitely not one of my better videos, okay? We're just gonna put that out there. Just gonna put that out there. It's okay. No. You know the saying. Crap happens. It just does. And if you wanted to, you could go in with a little concealer and ombre that out. And I just noticed that I have makeup on my sweatshirt. Really, could this video get any more unprofessional? Like, honestly, could it? I don't think so. I really don't think it could get any more unprofessional than what it is right now. Okay, guys, let me spray my face with the Be Fit sp setting spray. love this stuff guys love it so good it's so refreshing it sets your makeup it's just so good oh my god i'm a hot mess express tonight really honestly let's recap <laughs> because oh my god you guys are probably like oh lady please like what are you doing okay vfx foundation 04 in the shade number. Um, we did VFX primer. We did the Peach Bite palette for contour and blush and highlight. We did Wonderlust palette on our eyes. We did 
Zen Mascara for our mascara. We did, um, let's see, what did we do? We used 04 Barely There on our lips um, with 223 Lip Liner. And what else? Did, is that it? Oh, and the B-Fit Setting Spray. And that's how we got this look, guys. Can you just, like, take a moment to just see that the one best part of this video is my eyelashes that and the lipstick but look at that like this was worth sitting through this whole disastrous video just to see how good the Zen mascara is like oh my god guys look at those lashes like it's insane look at look how freaking long they are they're so good so good god that made it worth it just made it worth it just the zen alone made it worth it that and the lipstick isn't that gorgeous that is just beautiful i'm sorry but that is just absolutely gorgeous i love it that's going to replace skin for me because skin got retired from our original line so this is gonna replace skin. And I am so happy, cause I was getting really worried about what I was gonna to use to replace my skin mask, um, lipstick. Cause I was like, oh my God, now I don't have to worry about it. So anyways, guys, if you stayed watching this video <laughs> and you have any confidence left in me at all that you know what I'm doing or think that I'm even remotely know what I'm doing <laughs> and that I actually do work for pharmacy um that they actually entrusted me to become a beauty influencer for their company I really do know what I'm doing guys I I swear to god I do on most days tonight was not one of those days but most parts yes I am very professional and do my job quite well <laughs> But anyways, guys, in all seriousness, if you see anything here that you like, um, that you would like to purchase, you can go do so on my website at www.pharmacyus.com forward slash Charlotte Cardoso 2. You can visit my YouTube channel. You can visit me on Instagram. And you can also find me on Facebook at Charlotte's Cosmetics and more with Pharmacy. You can follow and like that page. You'll get all the updates, all the information, everything pharmacy related. You will find on there um, and my website. So if you have any questions, let me know. And I promise the next video will be a lot less chaotic than this one. Thank you so much because I, oh my God, God bless anyone who made it through the end to this, to the end of this video. I, I admire you. Okay. That's all I'm going to say. <laughs> you have pity on people because that would be the only reason why you're probably like, oh my God, let me just hang with this girl because she needs all the help she can get. Like we, we need to support her. She needs help. Like seriously. So thank you if you stayed till the end of the video. All right, guys, thank you. Have a great night and I will be back. I'm gonna be doing a couple of videos this week, a couple of lives to show you the other shades. Um, I already have the wheels in motion on what I wanna wear on my eyes for each shade. So should be interesting. All right, so have a great rest of your night. Have a great day tomorrow, and I will see you all tomorrow. Bye.